Hey everyone, in this video we will be creating a DMX profile for a Chauvet DJ Intimidator Spot 360 operating in its 14 channel DMX personality. So what we want to do here is go into DMX Profiles. We want to save this under our own personal user database. In this case I already have a Chauvet DJ category so we want to highlight that one. Hit Add Profile and we want to give this a name. So it is the Intimidator Spot 360 and I always like to append the name with the DMX personality channel count. In this case, it is 14 channels. So 14 channels. This is a single DMX fixture type. We have Chauvet DJ selected and there are no color mixing type LEDs in this fixture. So you can just leave this as default. We will not be needing it. All right, so I do advise if you have the option to call up the user manual for this fixture and look at the 14 channel DMX personality table as you're following along here. So we'll just start adding channels. All right, so channel one is a pan channel. This is the course setting. And there's another pan channel operating in fine resolution. And the same thing goes for tilt. So we want to select tilt, course, and then tilt, fine. All right, channel five is pan tilt speed. So this is gonna be a static value. All right, we actually have a pan tilt speed option there. So we wanna select that. And you wanna set the value under the static value column to the value corresponding with the fastest movement possible of the moving head. Because the force one will adjust the speed internally, we don't want the actual moving head itself to be limited in speed. So in this case, we want to set this to zero because a value of zero corresponds to the fastest, a value of two, 255 corresponds to the slowest. All right, so we're good there. All right, adding another channel. This channel is a color wheel channel. So you want to select color wheel under dynamic. And then we want to make sure we specify the, the, uh, the range here such that we aren't accessing any type of internal automatic adjustments of the color wheel, such as rainbow cycling or reverse rainbow cycling, which they have in this particular fixture. All right, so in this case, the range from 0 to 62 will give us access to all colors. Now you can use the attribute banks and the color theme options available on the Force 1.0 to dial in specific colors, gobo wheels, prisms, all that kind of good stuff at will. But we want to make sure that we encompass the entire range of colors offered by this fixture here. So 0 to 62. All right, so now we move on to channel 7. All right, channel 7 is a gobo wheel channel. So we want to pick a gobo wheel under dynamic and same deal. We want to make sure the range encompasses the full amount of gobos they have available and I also like to include the gobo shake options as well. Uh, anything like cycle effects and that kind of stuff I tend to avoid but don't be afraid to uh, experiment here. All right? So in this case I'm gonna limit the range from 0 to 119. Alright then we'll add another channel. So this is a gobo rotation channel. We'll pick gobo rotation and for this one we can access the entire range. Alright so 0 to 255 is perfectly okay. All right, for channel 9 is prism. And typically for those, 255 is good. All right, channel 10 is a focus channel. So same deal. We want to keep the entire range opened. So 0 to 255 is perfectly fine. Channel 11 is our dimmer channel. So we want to pick dimmer none because this dimmer channel is not associated with controlling the brightness of any RGB type channels. All right, so there are no RGB type channels in this fixture, so we want to select dimmer none. All right, and this is also coarse, and it's pixel number one. There are no multiple dimmer channels in this fixture controlling different pixels, so it's just one pixel. All right, now the next channel is the shutter channel. All right, so this is going to be a static value, and you want to make sure whenever you have a shutter channel for a fixture, you want to set it to a static value that corresponds to open. All right, sometimes it gets confusing because sometimes they call shutter channels as strobe channels. But in the end of the day, you want to prevent any automatic strobing based on the profile selection. And you also want to make sure that the shutter remains open. So in this case, shutter on refers to it staying open. All right, off would mean that the shutter is essentially preventing any light from escaping from the fixture itself. So on in this case, we can set it to 255 and we will be in good shape. 
All right, then channel 13 is a control channel. This controls internal macros and internal functions of the actual fixture itself. We want to turn this off. All right, so in this case, we will select a static channel. Internal function works. And we want to set this to a value corresponding to no function, which zero is perfectly okay. And then we have a movement macros channel. This is also static. And we want to set this to no function, which is zero. All right, so at this point, we are done. All right, so we can hit save. Terminator Spot 360 14 channel has been saved. We can get out of here, go into our own personal database, and you'll notice on the Shaw VDJ, we have the Intimidator Spot 360 profile for 14 channel mode, and it is ready to be used.